Hi, so I'm going to very briefly go over Linux bash wildcards. We're going to learn about the star and the question mark wildcards. So I have a folder here called files. And if we look in files, I have a bunch of different documents. So some of them start with document, some of them start with file, some of them end with CSV, and some of them end with text. And they also have varying numbers, so each file in here has a unique file name. So what can we actually do with these wildcards? Okay, so if we want to run a command just on the files that start with file, let's just do an ls, and we can do file, and then put a star. So the star means it doesn't matter what's after this. It will match anything that starts with file, and then anything after, starting at the star and after the star, is irrelevant. So if we do that, we see that it prints everything that starts with file, even though some end with CSV and some end with text, and they have different numbers. Likewise, if we do it for documents, we see we only print the documents, and then we can flip it around. So if we only want to print the text documents, we can do ls star dot text. See, it prints both documents and file as long as they end with dot text. Everything before this period doesn't matter. And then we can use the question mark if we don't care about a single character. So let's do ls file, and then we don't care about the number. So we put a question mark there, dot csv, and we see that it prints everything that starts with the file and ends with csv, but it doesn't care about the number, which is where the question mark is. So let's go back to the directory we started in. And now let's run a cat command on the files instead, so we're going to print out what's inside the file. So we're going to print out everything that ends with CSV. We see there were five files that started with document and five files that started with file. And you can actually use the star without specifying anything else, so it just means everything in a given directory. For example, we can copy files, and then if we want to copy everything in the files directory, we can do that. And let's copy it to our current directory. So now if we do an ls, we see that we have all the files that were in files are now copied into our current directory. Now let's remove all the files that end with CSV. You see that they're now gone. Now let's remove all the files that start with document. And now you see they're all gone again. And then let's just make a new file called file10.txt and then when we run remove file with a question mark dot text we see that we still have file 10 because this is only specific to one character so it doesn't match a 10 and that's basically it for star and question mark there are slightly more advanced wildcards but this will get you through most of what you need to know